Hello, welcome to this video tutorial for DT Register 2.7 Event Management. Uh, this is based on version 2.7.0 and what we'll be doing in this video is going through uh, some of the general elements of event setup and we will uh, cover all the details of events within a few different videos so you can go straight to what you really need help with. Okay, uh, here I'm on the event management page, which I can get to from components, DT register, events, and this will give a list of all of my uh, all of my events that are currently set up. And then I have some filters up here at the top, where I can uh, filter to show a specific event. Um, do I want to show events that are published, unpublished, events that are archived or hide the archives? or search uh, which can come in handy when you have uh, many many events along the top you'll see you have tool toolbar items to apply if I click on an event I can click the archive button and I can archive it which means it will be uh, sent to the archives and and uh, no longer displayed here and then I'll be able to go uh, to show the archives and see the event there um, That'll, that allows you a way to keep your, keep your display here cleaned up and over time not to have too many events here to dig through. Uh, I can also click and I can publish, unpublish, uh, edit, or delete. Uh, if I hit copy event, it'll take me to a new event uh, type setup to create an event, but it'll be based on all the settings uh, of the event that I copied. So it gives you a starting point instead of starting from scratch if you're doing an event that is similar. Um, of course you can just click on the event name to edit it. Uh, you can just click this icon here to unpublish or publish. Um, then there is a fee ordering item that appears over here on the side uh, which in most most cases most people will not need um, but if you have a situation where you need to get really specific on where in the process of the calculation does a certain fee get added or a certain discount, particularly with percentages, um, like a tax, maybe you want the tax to be included on the base fee, or maybe instead you want it to be included at the very end, things of that nature. If you click fee ordering, you get this pop-up, and you can drag and drop uh, the different items. So you can move things around to get things in the order that you want. Anything, uh, any field or any type of fee or discount structure that exists for your site will show up here and you'll be able to move things around and get the fee the fee order in exactly the way you need it. Like I said, most people won't need to do this, but if you need to, then you certainly can get in there and customize it. Um, you see here on the left, there's a plus icon. Uh, this is be, uh, symbolizes that this is a repeating event. If I click the button, it will expand and it will show that this event has uh, multiple repeats. Uh, as there's repeating event support in this version of DT Register, um, you can see here this was a uh, monthly repeat. Uh, so we have, uh, there's the November and I got my December and January versions of it here. Each event has its own ID number. So even a repeating event, although it was created automatically with multiple copies, uh, each one is its own unique event now that can be edited, deleted, and uh, published, unpublished. Um, you see all your events in the back here are are uh, listed according to category, just like they are on the front end. Uh, you do have a display here of the event's time, and then you have the uh, the admin notification email that displays here as well and um, those are your your main items you can also do ordering and I'm going to jump over here to the configuration and um, within the event listing tab there is an ordering wait for the load here here we go event list ordering uh, that'll display your events. While they always display in a category, they can display uh, based on the, the date of the event or the name, um, and that can be done automatically. 
if I change this to manual ordering and save, then I go back into the events area. Now you'll see I have an additional uh, item here. I have ordering arrows and uh, ordering numbers. Now this happens uh, within the category. That's why, like here, you don't see any arrow because there's only one event in that category, so it doesn't need any ordering. Um, so here you can uh, manually order how your events display if you need to do that. Otherwise, you can just leave it on the automatic ordering and, and be good to go. Um, so that's the kind of general layout. Uh, you can check out the other videos to see uh, more details, how to create the events, how to edit them, and all the different options inside. This is kind of an overview of um, the event management area. Thank you.